Try to get up. Look. Just, just film me, right? Try and keep, like, it's quite shaky, so try and keep it steady. I filmed the whole of the interior, and uh, yeah. realised it wasn't recording. I forgot my blinking camera. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> oh yes. Hey Stuart, look at that. Mine's all mine. And don't let Ken make your coffee because it sucks. I haven't been out for a while so I thought I'd take my nephew camping. Mr Grumpy's working abroad so... Uh, uh, so I haven't been able to go camping with Mr Grumpy. But hello Mr Grumpy if you're watching. Hopefully you will be. Out there in uh, the Emirates doing your security work. Less we talk about that the better I guess but anyway um, big shout to John McKnight and uh, Stuart so we are in West Wales by St David's me and my nephew second time he's come camping with me so what I decided to do this time because I'm feeling fat is go hiking but what I didn't want to do is wild wild camping along Pembrokeshire coast in areas I haven't been before with my nephew and get him in trouble or, or whatever so we found this campsite for four pound a night. <laughs> um, let me show you. So this is a little cheapy campsite we found. There's my nephew on his phone, of course. And uh, so yeah, just a nice little cheap campsite in West Wales by St David's. Um, and my lovely nephew is going to do his first camp cooking session. <laughs> so we're going to cook um, from a tin. And we're going to do, what are we going to do, Mox? We're going to do um, chicken, chicken halfrazy from a tin and rice. Boiling a bag of rice to make it nice and easy. So, so, uh, what are you going to do? Right, and I'll put the camera on to you then you can start. You don't know how to cook? Oh you're going like this. I, I, don't, I don't know how to cook. Mogs don't know how to cook. Mogs don't know how to cook. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show Mogs the basics of cooking. Not even the basics of cooking, I mean how to light um camping stove with methylate spirits in and get some water boiled. Once the water's boiled, we'll put the rice in the water. And then we'll, put, we'll just put the tin straight on top of the burner. Um, I didn't bring my little camping table because I was in a bit of a rush and I couldn't find it. So we're going to put it on uh, part of a wind uh, blocker, wind jammer, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're going to do, let's get busy. You've got to get it close, see, without knocking it. I'm, I'm serious when I say this. Once it's on, do not touch it because you will take the skin off of your fingers. Okay. And have a scar for a long time. Now, I didn't bring a gas. Put that on there like that. And we've got a lid on this one. So we'll use this here. What I don't like doing is put, leaving burn marks on the ground. I, I just don't like it. So if we put that on there, that will help that to boil faster, but that'll take ages. So what we'll do is we'll show, this is what Morgan's having. <laughs> £1.49 at Morrison's. And uh, we'll come back to you when it's ready. So see you in a bit. Each in the camera for that. Yeah, I was just being quiet for a bit. People weir sometimes weirdly like to watch you be really quiet. Or we could talk. So, could you do that now? Oh, probably. What's the most important thing about what we're doing right now? Keeping that alight. Not really. It's a bit of a, tri a, bit of a tr trick question. Uh, I guess be safe. Yeah. You were about to say safety, weren't you? 
I was about to say safety. See, so you got it. Safety first with everything. This is. I know we're in August, right? But if it if it poured down with rain now and you got soaking wet and you had no spare clothes and you had no way of warming yourself up, you're in that tent and you could get cold. Probably not that cold at the moment but if this was january and you got soaking wet you get hypothermia and that that is and that is that's serious that's time to die that's serious so it's always safety first and always keep yourself dry so this by the way is an alp kit titanium set in case you're interested i don't like doing videos like this i feel like a teacher i don't look like a bloody teacher couldn't teach someone how to swim, let alone camp properly. Pretty swim, it's easy. So yeah, Monk is having that. Chicken out crazy. I might delete some of this because I might I might be like, that's weird, don't like it, don't want it. And um just keeping it simple, so simple, you know. This this here, right, if you take it out of the tin, oh. the good thing about this is you can cook it in the tin. So but but the problem with the tin is if you're in the wild, where are you gonna put the tin after? Now fair enough, you could just carry that and then you could use it as a cooking pot afterwards and you could even drink out of it. But realistically you don't really want to do that. So so what some people would do is dehydrate dehydrate things. So they'll dehydrate that in a dehydrator and then I'll add water to it. But you've got to carry the water to rehydrate it anyway. So yeah. personally I just take it out of the tin, put it in a bag like that, and you've got really what you can do, Morgan which is what I was going to show you if you couldn't do it is you can rip a little bit of paper dip it in the meth and uh, just light it a bit of paper with uh, a lighter just drop it on the meth and it starts it uh -huh. what, what I do personally shake that up <laughs> I don't like I don't like I don't like rubbish really really don't like littering Chuck that in the bag. Shake that up so it's not all settled on the bottom. That, you hear that noise? Yeah. That means it's starting to boil. So what we could do for now, chuck that in. Chuck that in anyway. <laughs> Food. Rice is done, look. Easy, isn't it? And then what we'll do. Mugs will use that water, water, boil up some eggs. Yeah. Well, I reckon that's ready. Yes. I reckon that's, I reckon that's not too hot to put there now. Yeah, yeah. I'll so try. what we'll do is we'll. <laughs> yeah, wasp. Good idea. You fly there. Drain that off a bit. <laughs> God, this video is going to be boring. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't plan to make this video boring. Um, I'm probably gonna, I probably actually, I probably won't cut everything out because <laughs> I'll be too lazy to cut everything out. So if anyone's watching this and they're, and they're thinking, God, this is boring, then I do apologize because it is boring. So that's it. So we've got some rice and chicken and rice. Look at that. There you are, Mox. Put it, put it, put it in that if it's too hot to hold. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's fine. It can warm my legs, isn't it? I am really quite hungry now. So what I'm going to do... Are you having this again? Yeah. After that? Who knows? So this is what we've done. Quick, quick and easy, less than 10 minutes. Chicken and rice. Job done. And hopefully the video ain't as rubbish as it felt like it was as I was doing it. 
So yeah, let's have a look at it. Chicken and rice. And guess what? Stuart. <laughs> mine's all mine. Hmm. I'll tell you what. For £1.49 plus a bag of rice. That is a bargain, isn't it? Mm, that's nice. What's this one? How crazy? I think so, yeah. We're going to do a madras next, but no point filming that. So we'll see you later. Bye. Right, so those loonies down there are going on boat trips <laughs> and us loonies are going to walk this path all the way to St. David's. Hang on a sec, have a look at this. You ready to walk this, Mox? Oh yeah, man. Oh gosh, look, it's all the way down there. I think we've cut across the headland, shall we? We what? We've got to go all the way down there oh. to come all the way back out again. Yeah, I think we'll just explore up here. I think that was the noise last night. We could hear this noise last night. I reckon it's someone going up and down there look, loading up the lifeboat. So the plan is to walk to St. David's, but looking at that headland, it looks a bit further than I could be bothered to walk. <laughs> so, so we're going to go that way. That's the way we're going to go and we'll see how we get on. Might cut across the, if we can a bit, because that looks, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is, I can't really be asked to walk for four hours. So if that's a four hour walk, I don't want to do it. Can we go in there? Open to the public. Let's have a quick look. So I guess that's the lifeboat then. That must have been the noise we could hear last night from the campsite going up and down there, a lift. Probably. Ah, see? So, here we go. I think that's called Ramsey Island. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just go for it. We've got nothing else to do today, really, apart from explore places. So we'll just do it. Looking at it, I really don't want to do it. <laughs> but let's just get on with it. So we'll be back. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, we've been walking for about <clears throat> 10 minutes. That's where we were. So, we haven't been walking long and we've come across some locals. Hello. Oh, look at that, Max. I don't know much about mushrooms. Some mushrooms, Max, are highly poisonous and some are very edible. And I have not got a clue that's poisonous or edible, but to me, if I was if I was thinking I was starving to death and I needed to either live or die, I might take a risk with that. So if anybody's watching this, 
if anybody's watching this and knows what this mushroom is if anybody knows what this mushroom is please let me know because tell me that don't look edible <laughs> i know i know about mushrooms i mean i know that you don't eat them unless you know what you're doing but i reckon that looks look i reckon that looks that i think that's edible but there's absolutely no way i would take a risk eating that and yes i'm gonna put some anti back on my fingers in a sec oh yeah that's a good find mogs if, if that's edible well and it wasn't half eaten by maybe a sheep hello These are males and females because if you look over there, there's one with some balls. Hey! Let it out. Right, we walked from there all the way around into there and then we're obviously up to here. So now we're gonna walk around there. Hopefully it goes straight down, straight down like that. But it might go keep going outwards. But um that's just the way the walk is going to be, isn't it? My nephew brought... Um, there's the path. My nephew brought um, a litre of water with him and I reckon he's drunk it all. And we've only been walking for 30 minutes. Check this out. Definitely wild camp down here, Mox. No one's gonna bother you down here. Nice little camp spot here, Mox. Yeah. So you roll off the cliff. You're not going to roll off the cliff if you're away, f away from it, are you? Like, I wouldn't camp here. Duh. I finally made it. He finally made it. All because the lady loves 
milk tree. Oh, come on, thing. Yo, this gimbal thing's really good, but it takes two batteries. Even though I'm sure I read somewhere it'll take one battery, but there's not enough room and I didn't find a spacer in the box. So you've got to use the dual battery system, which then makes it a little bit, it's not, not heavy, but when you're carrying it in your hand all day, a bit of a pain, I suppose, but it's good. I'll put my windshield on, I see if it works. Oh, I'll do it in a minute. So yeah, pretty good really. I'm, I'm not sure how long we've been walking now. I'm not gonna gabble on and bore people. So anyway, look at this. We built this city on rock and roll. We've got this wind jammer thing on, so hopefully it's working. But we just walked from right over there. Oh, there's no point in me even saying right over there because like, I'm on this, on this top of this stone. I can't turn around. So that's where we are. And look what my nephew's doing. You don't need to ring nobody. It's so important. He needs to ring his friend. He needs to. Des desperately needs. Desperately needs to ring his friend. So, I think I saw some about over there, some church spires. So that is where St. David's is. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to go down there, around there. So how are you feeling so far, Box? Tired already. He's tired already. I think this is on the, it might not be. It might just be the, what I've done is I got this windproof Chinese thing on that, that, um, makes it look the camera look like that because I've cut it about a bit but I don't know if it's working so hopefully it's working it's not really muff muffled but check the view there's a good ten legend Oh, why are you recording me, really? <laughs> I'm normally quite prepared. Apart from the last time I went camping up in Anglesey and I burnt my nose and my bottom lip. So today was meant to be cloudy all day. And uh, I was going to bring a hat and guess what? I forgot. I was going to bring my wallet and guess what? I forgot my wallet. And also forgot the charging cables for a phone and I'm carrying a heavy battery pack which is very clever isn't it morning or afternoon whatever it is <laughs> so this is where we are I tell you what, mr. grumpy we'll come out here with canoes on Oh, the reason I got this thing on my head is just to keep the sun off my head for a bit so I don't get sunstroke because it's we're we're in August and it's actually quite hot as expected when there's no clouds but we set off it was really misty so anyway Mr Grumpy we should come out here on our canoes and camp over those islands there look cool this thing's making my head sweat so yeah, there's a the beach, look, Chris. I can launch off of there. Launch off of there. Phew, camp on that island there, look. That would be wicked. So we had a little pit stop. We had uh, some army ration pack energy drinks full of sugar and sherbet, which is sugar. And I reckon we're past halfway. Um, and we're definitely coming people we're coming in we're we're meeting people now so 
I guess either we're close to something or it's that time of day. <laughs> so I've got to switch off because I feel like an idiot carrying this. So see you in a bit. Swans over there. So that's it now. Oh, the state of the lens. That's it now. We're uh, heading inland down to St. David's and uh, yeah, it's been a good walk. So here we go. We love good here. Huh? We love to go through here. Well, it's the only way. Oops. Here, go on. Footpath, look. Oh, wouldn't you love that? Oh, uh, oh, I see. Right, I better turn the camera off before we get. Uh, we have gone, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going the right way. Better turn the camera off. Right, so we just walked through a little, um, little. Estate. Not an estate. A hamlet, or smaller than a village. Oh, so I am such a city div. Right, so we left the campsite. We haven't walked fast. We left the campsite. Uh, like nine. Half past nine. Jeez, man, quarter of twenty past eleven. Uh, we just seen a sign that said Saint David's three and a half miles. So that's good because we we wanted something to do, didn't we? And uh, so we got something to do. So we get St. David's, that's something to eat. Have a little look around. My knees are in. And uh, so yeah, we saw a sign. I turned the camera off as I walked through because there was like people and I don't want anyone to go, oh, you can't put your camera on through here, mate. So, do you know what, Mogs? Look, look where we walked along there. We walked along there, just over there. We walked and we walked all the way around there, all the way around there, all the way around there, and back down to here. So the way back. We so we could have cut through the field and got shouted at by the farmer or got away with it. Yeah, but we were on a walk. So that's what we could have done. On the way back. Anyway, I'm having fun here. So we'll see you in a bit, guys. Whew. Trying to save this butterfly from the spider. And just pull the spider away from the spider web. Yes, go me, man. I just saved the butterfly. Man. We, um, when we cut across country a bit I thought we I'm not sure what I've said so I'm gonna say it again if I've already repeated myself I'm repeating myself we we've seen two paths like an acorn trail which is along the coast or a little cut through so I thought we'll take a little cut through I didn't realize we've been walking for two hours and uh, we saw a sign st. David's three and a half miles so we walked through this little farm area and we got down a road and I thought I'd check the map and it works out that we are like we're about 500 meters from our campsite so all we did really was walk around the headland which is cool and walk back towards towards us so what I wanted to do is walk all the way around the coast but realizing now and I walked for two hours it'd be like a five hour walk so find this brighter way back towards the campsite because so if we take the road probably going to be another hour so we're going to go across this bridal way and then hopefully we can cut through a field up over the, that um that, that stone mound we were on yesterday and uh back at the campsite and we'll get a car <laughs> that's what we're going to do
So you can't see, but I think just over on the right there, it should be the stone mound or the rocky mound or whatever you want to technically call it. I don't know. So we'll have a look. I, um, I think it's a good idea to get the car. Because if we walk for five hours, oh, oh, not really fit enough to walk for five hours. Anyway, let's have a look at here. See if we're where, if we're where, I'm hoping we are. Yes, smogs. That is the that's where our campsite is on the other side of there. Oh. So this is the this is the this is the route. Lift. We don't lift. I can't lift that. Oh, I'll lift it like that. Duh, dumbass. So that's where we are on the other side of there. So I've got to go through the field where the horse is. So. See you in a bit, see you in a bit. Now we got back to the campsite. I ain't been, I ain't no hiker. You know, I like wild camping, but there's no buts. I, I, I'd like to start hiking. So I guess today I started hiking. And um, as you know, the plan was to walk down the coast to and then inland a bit to St. David's, which looked about, I don't know, about five miles. And what we ended up doing is, because yesterday we bought a map of Pembrokeshire, didn't look at it properly, and I just presumed it would have this area on it. It's another part of Pembrokeshire. I just love the way you have to buy loads of maps, you know. It's like probably about 300 for a flipping Great Britain. Anyway, I got my phone. I've looked at I looked at internet on the internet for maps, and we walked basically a few headlands and come, as I said earlier, about 500 yards away from the campsite. And it's, the sign said three and a half miles to St David's. So it was a good walk. But we decided to come back to the campsite to get the car to go into St David's. Um, and probably just after I got off the camera the last time, my right knee was starting to really ache and seize a bit. So I'm hoping it's just fitness and that um, the more I do this, the more I go away. So anyway, we're at the campsite chilling and we're gonna have a rest. And then we're gonna, we walk in St. David's. <laughs> we're gonna drive and uh, we'll have a look around, maybe do a bit of filming. Maybe not, I don't know. Might be loads of weird people everywhere, I know. So that's this trip anyway, so we'll see you again. Bye for now. <laughs>